G'day Scrubbers, welcome back to Scrub Iron Flotilla, I'm Land GXV6. And this week, we're into the Tier 6s, yay, finally. Um, last week, of course, we did all the Tier 5, we finished off the Tier 5s, did a quick review. All good with that. Uh, this week, we're starting off with the Tier 6s, and you can see all my Tier 6s down there. Uh, there's 36 of them, so this is going to take a little bit of time to do, but that's cool. So we're going to start off with IGN Mitsu, or Mitsu, however you want to pronounce it, which you can see her on screen at the moment. Very, very nice looking ship. All right, let's have a look at this module wise. She's got four slots in her upgrade. She can take the special upgrades. She can take one of them. So if you take armament mod one off, you can put the spotting aircraft mod one on. Uh, not really sure why you'd want to do that since you're giving up all of this for an extra 30% of spotting aircraft time. <laughs> yeah, no. No, no, no. This is what you really want and that's the reason why I look at the, what, all that stuff that you get. Following on, second one is damage control which is pretty much normal for every ship I have. Uh, third one, aiming system mod one, that of course increases my firing range. Uh, no, sorry, it doesn't do increase my firing range, it um, reduces my dispersion, um, increases my torpedo tubes, and my secondary firing range, as well as uh, tightens up the dispersion on my secondary. So, very good to have. Now, with the change around of uh, AA and um, stuff along those lines. There is a possibility that you're going to want to try this one, the AA gun mod 1. However, reading that, it's a plus 2% to explosions produced, and it's only for long range and medium range AA defense. So it depends on what you want to give up. I like this one, it gives you more things. Yeah. Now, I always like AM aim system. Now, I do have steering gear mod on here. I don't know why I'm going to change that. <laughs> I think this is one of those ships that I had that um, we were playing around with the steering gear modifier. Uh, just to give you an idea, if I quickly go into maneuverability, uh, the rudder shift time is 13.7. Uh, if I go here and put the steering gear mod back on, Eleven seconds. So what? Two point seven second difference. Not really that big of a difference at tier six. I mean, I don't think you'd really want to sacrifice uh, when you can get your fires and floods sorted out just that little bit quicker. Okay. Would recommend the damage control system mod too. Ammunition consumables. What do we got? We have a spotting aircraft and we've got premium. There's nothing there. Change. Uh, repair party, which is pretty standard. Nothing there. And damage control, of course. There's nothing there. We do have torpedoes. But we'll get to that. Exterior wise, having a look at this. Comes with a standard camo type 10 Mutsu. Uh, minus 3, plus 4, minus 10 to uh, post battle, and plus 50 to XP. Uh, and if you're up and around the tier 6 range or about now, you should be collecting uh, various camos. So you can get better camos put on the ship to give you better, better bonuses. Okay, guys? So you don't have to just go with the stock standard camo that comes with it. You can put better camo on. Alright, armor layout. Flicking over. As you can see, upwards of 330 mil. Uh, most of that, of course, is going to be on the barbettes, uh, the armor belts. If I turn that off and zoom in, there we go. So you can see there is a fair bit of armor happening here. I mean, if you could get a shell to basically punch through the deck, which is 25 mil, and hit that plate there, at the right angle you would actually punch in underneath so you would citadel the ship 
So that deck is only 70 mil thick. You can punch through this deck. Yeah, most definitely. All the blue bits that you can see, which is kind of the superstructure, that's where you want to hit with HE, because that's where you'll start fires. For those of you who don't realize that, blue part to aim for with HE, you can start a fire. Very nice. Right, survivability comes with 58,400 hit points. As I said, armor of 330 millimeters. Torpedo protection and damage reduction of 22%. So that's not too bad. Not the highest, but not too bad. Main batteries on the bow, four dual 410 millimeters. And, sorry, <laughs> two on the bow, two on the stern. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Um, secondary armament, you have four dual 127 millimeters, and then you have 20 single 140 millimeters. So you can see these ones on the port side, uh, fore and aft. They are your 127 millimeters, and then all the ones in the barbettes. Uh, along the port and starboard side are your 140 millimeters. So, mousing over main battery, let's get some stats up. Uh, as I always say, if you want to read the stats or go right into the stats, just pause the video, have a really good read. And there we go, main battery firing range is. I've lost it. Uh, 20.4 kilometers currently. That's what I have the ship set up as, okay? It is a bit shorter, I do have extended firing range on. Right, torpedoes. You have four single 533 millimeters. And I've lost where the torpedo tubes are. I'm looking, but... Oh, there they are. That's right, these ones fire out from the side. You do have a bit of an angle on them, but uh, as you can see, once we get into a co-op match, you're not really going to have that much angle, but you do have torpedoes. Two port to starboard. Uh, seven kilometers at 57 knots, so they are slow. There's the stats. However, 21 second reload time. You can chuck a lot of these torpedoes out into the water uh, if that's your thing. A defense, uh, not really au fait on um, the AA uh, nowadays. They've gone and changed everything, and I really haven't gotten into it. Essentially, you have long range, mid range, and short range. So the long range uh, will start firing at 5.8 kilometers. And as you can see, you've got explosions in a salvo, damage per second within the shell's radius, explosion radius. Um, so essentially, once an aircraft breaks 5.8 kilometers, you will start doing 72 damage uh, to the aircraft, continuous. So, no. Get back over there. So yeah, there's your continuous damage, 72. If the aircraft is within the explosion radius of the shell, you will do 966. You have two salvos in an explosion, so you go work that out. Uh, hit, prob hit probability of 68%, and then again, you, you start going down uh, 0 0.7 to 2 kilometers, and then short range will be 0 0.1 to 0 0.7. Yeah, this is just like all gobbledygook at the moment. Um, I like the old way of doing it. It was simple. You had a long range, medium range, short range guns, and it told you everything you need. This still tells you everything you need. You just need to know what it is you're actually looking at. All right, ma uh, maneuverability, uh, 26.5 knots max speed. So not the fastest, not the slowest, but definitely not the fastest. Uh, turning circle is 750 meters, and the rudder shift time, as we uh, pointed out before, is 13.7 seconds. Not too bad. You can work with that. Detectability at sea, 16.4, 10.6 by air. Two kilometers is your assured detectability. And again, I don't know why they put that in there, because every ship is has that range it's never going to change and if you fire guns in smoke you're going to get spotted uh, strangely enough further than uh, your detectability range at sea <laughs> how nice normally the smoke actually gives you a little bit more uh, protection all right so what we're going to do is we'll head into a co-op game and we'll go see what this ship is all about so catch us in a sec
Right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, we're back. Um, as you can see, Mitsu, it's going to be a tier 5, tier 7 match, so I'm right in the middle. And we're facing off a burn and... Yeah, that thing. Yeah, we're good. And I'm turning for C. Now I do know a lot of this is co-op, so the bots are going to go into B, they're going to go into the centre. Just gives me a chance to do a bit of long range firing. So, torpedo tubes are still loading and as you can see you've got one selection for your torpedo tubes. So you basically fire one at a time and that's your angle. That's actually not too bad of an angle and the torpedo tubes do move. Um, so you've got the same port and starboard. So that's not too bad. Well, I'm detected already. Cool. <laughs> what the bloody hell is detecting? Yep. Destroyer. So we have a destroyer there, we have the emerald there. Uh, first shot's out. They're probably going to be bad shots. So we'll get some ranging happening. Probably short, but look. Oh, not too bad. Let's get the uh, up guns. Where? Where? Alright, so overpinned. I am expecting to overpin quite a bit. Oh, hello. That's a nice shot to the Citadel. And coming around. As you can see, this is why I took the steering off. It does have fairly, <coughs> excuse me, it does have fairly decent type uh, steering on it. And this guy's just going to torp him, so boom, he's out of there. Um, so yeah, putting the, oh, <laughs> one for one. Uh, putting the steering gear module on, probably not the, um, uh, the steering gear upgrade, sorry. Probably not the best idea. Doesn't hurt, but it's probably a waste. Alright, so that's not too bad there. Uh, and we have a battleship, so I will turn and face the island. There are some ships up around that way, but I'm not going to be too concerned about them because this dude is a lot closer. Might even give me a chance to uh, show off the torpedo tubes if the Icarus doesn't actually destroy it first. <laughs> Please, Mr. Icarus, don't destroy the ship. I want to torp it. Yeah, no, he, he's got too good of a uh, torpedo shot in. Look at that. Very well set up torpedoes. Yeah, he's gone. Oh, maybe not. So, honestly, I would have thought... Um, Destroyer would have got more torpedoes on than he did. Apparently not. I wonder if I'll get one. Yep, there we go. Yes, the battleship has torpedoes. <laughs> well, that gives you an idea of the torpedoes anyway. You've got two torpedoes, that's it. Um, you're going to have to work your spread. Uh, no question asked about that. You'll have to 
uh, work it. And really, I do suggest that it's for uh, those situations where the ships are within about four nautical miles, where you can be more assured that you're going to get at least one hit on, uh, just to knock the battleship down a little bit. Probably be very handy against aircraft carriers as well. They do take a bit to turn, so you could probably get two shots and two hits. Knock him down a bit. There he goes, he's sinking, and we have the Koenig to the north, but I don't believe I'm really going to get into that battle. For the simple fact, he's just far too far away from me. I haven't even been hit this game, so that's good. Two kills, no hit. And that little destroyer, the uh, Icarus, has just been going around shooting everything. Is it the Icarus? Oh no, it's the uh, Shiretsu. Mm, where's he going? Behind the island where I can't actually... I can't blind shot, but I prefer to see the target. I mean, there you go, I'll just do that. You never know, the chance is I'll probably drop a shell on his head, I don't know. Nah. Nah, he's gone. So yeah, as you can see, not too bad of a ship. We'll just get back into port. Um, we'll try to get back into port. Cool, we are actually finishing off some stuff too, cool. So remember this is co-op, so you don't really get that much for playing co-op, which is a bit of a shame. Um, co-op's not a bad, a bad sort of match. So as you can see, uh, utilizing this one at tier six, uh, utilize the torpedoes, get the ships closer to you so that you can actually hit them. Uh, the guns aren't too bad. They do do damage, but do note that I was in a, a more pro prolific tier 5 match other than a uh, more of a tier 7 or a tier 8. This ship will see tier 8s, and when you see tier 8s, um, <laughs> yeah, you, you are going to get owned. Uh, unless you can get uh, a couple of surprise shots in, uh, or hit the cruisers, do not try to go after a tier 8 battleship with this thing, unless he gets really close and you can get those torpedoes into his side. Uh, for the most part, your guns are probably going to bounce off his side. Um, and he's probably going to eat your life. So, if you're up in a tier 8 match, uh, hang back at the beginning of the game. Just let the battle progress a bit uh, and try to get yourself into a position where you can uh, deal secondary damage. Uh, maybe take out the cruisers, maybe hunt the destroyers as you move up behind the fleet. Don't be too far behind. Uh, because the big ships are going to, or the uh, higher tier ships, are really going to need your assistance. So hang back a little bit, uh, let them take the brunt of the first part of the attack, and then you come in uh, behind them and uh, give them a, little, uh, a helping hand, so to speak. But yeah, not a bad one to have in the collection. Nothing really that actually stands out on it. I mean, I, I don't really like the spotting aircraft. I don't like the, the look down shoot. Thing that you have going uh, so I tend to stay away from uh, spotting aircraft I do use the fighters mainly if you I can use a fighter uh, fighters will actually spot for you they will not extend your firing range they will not extend your spotting range but they will spot so keep that in mind if you've only got a fighter you can still put it up and spot okay um, yeah and that's the IGN uh, Mutsu so until next time, ladies and gentlemen, fair winds and following seas.